Hello there YouTube, it is PC Gaming XI here and I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install plugins and use permissions. Uh, I probably will go into detail on how to use permissions. Plugins are uh, pretty much simple as hell to use. Okay, so first off we're going to do is obviously you've got your server, it should look a bit like this, you know your world might be a different name, but it should, it should in general look a bit like this. So as you can see we've got the plugins folder. And it's empty. We've got no plugins. Alright, first off, if you want to find some plugins, what you're going to do is go to this website. It's called Bucket Plugins, pretty much. What the name says. What I do is go to this. Link. All links will be in the description, do not worry. So, what we're going to do is just find a quick plugin that's fun, and simple, and easy to use. Mm. Alright, we'll use Ultimate first. Installing a plugin is the easy part. Like, it's really easy, but it's the permissions that people get confused on. So, yeah. So just download that, save to desktop. There it is. You can do. Drag it into plugins. There you go. Plugin is installed. Start the server. And as you can see, Ultimate Fist has been enabled. So the server started, and Ultimate Fist has been enabled. Um, only people on the ops list can actually use um, that. Uh, command for plugin for that plugin, but that's pretty much it. Uh, the two essential plugins you're going to need for permissions is one permissions. It's here on the desktop. It will be in the description. Uh, it'll be a media file link, and just to prove to you all that there are no viruses in it, uh, extract, not scan. Okay. There you go, scan, no infections found at all. It is a safe file, just to prove to you all that. Um, so, you, what you're going to do is first off, you're going to need permissions, which is one. You're going to do is just extract that to your desktop. So, you should have a folder called permissions, pretty simple. And then the other thing you are going to need is essentials. So, let's get essentials open. Um, I don't know. Link will be in the descriptions, like I said, don't worry, it's pretty simple. So, what we're going to do is just click download essentials core. I mean, if you want all the extras, you can have the extras, but you just need essentials core. Save to desktop, and what you do is just open that up. And you should see these essentials chat, protect, spawn, all that. Just drag them all into plugins, pretty simple. And you don't need this anymore because they're all in there already. Right, permissions. What you want to do is first off, drag the permissions.jar into the plugins folder. Exit out of the file, drag the file into plugins. And then what you want to do is get the, the name of your world. So right click, rename, right click, copy, and go inside your plugins folder and permissions. And where it says permissions there, what you do is just rename that to world. Or whatever the name of your world is. So if it was called legit, like my uh, one's called, it, that would be called legit. If it's called Super Uber World, it's got to be called Super Uber World. Alright, now to open these, you're going to need a program called Notepad++. Sorry, it's annoying me that. Um, as you can see, I already have it installed, but what you're going to do is just go to... Oh, link in the link in the description, notes, add, uh, where's plus plus, can't find the plus, plus plus. I know you just go to that, downloads. And just download it. That's pretty much it. Just download that, install it. Blah blah blah. Jobs, jobs are good. Right. So now we've got the permissions and we have essential started up. What I do is just start the server. So it generates all the files necessary. And then once it's done, stop it. Uh, you might, you'll get some like little things. You know, saying config not there, creating one. Blah blah blah. And you do is just do that. Then what you do is go into plugins going to permissions and then the name of the permissions so as you can see it looks a bit like this uh, we got our this you don't need to worry about it just leave that alone this is the groups and this is the users so first off we're going to create our groups so what I'm going to do is copy default like that. press go to the end of rules press enter press the backspace twice and then just paste it in if yours looks like this, then you've done it wrong. Make sure you go all the way back and then 
get it all lined up. If it's not if it's not in line, it won't work. So now what we want to do is rename it. So we don't want it to be called default. Do we? We'll call it uh, admin. So we've got one called admin now. Um, we're not, we don't want it to be default. So when you spawn your own, I'll turn it on admin. So we put that as false. And leave that as true. Okay. Info leave alone. Prefixes are what come before your name. So I'm gonna have Uber admin space. So now I'm gonna have that every time I join the server for the game. If you wanna add color to it, you put the and sign and any number between one and nine. So I've got eight. I mean, you can do it for every individual letter, you know, different color. It's up to you. And then say if I put and ooh, that's percent nine and four there. After that, my name will be whatever for is. I think that's red. Suffixes, I uh, don't use them, so I just leave them alone. Right, build means can they build? Are they allowed to build on the server? So if you want to put default as false or true, depending, you know, if you want people to build as soon as they join the server, or whether they've got to have permission from you guys to do it. Now, right, inheritances, what you want to do is just press enter, all the way back to the beginning, spacebar, all the way to online, the line, and then just type default. So now you've inherited these permissions from default. So whatever permissions default have, um, admin or automatic get. So you don't really need them, but I'm just going to leave them in for demonstration purposes. So if you remember, we installed essentials and we installed uh, the fist plugin, whatever it is, the ultimate fist. What I do is go to that, or tell what first. As you can see, this one has permissions. So what you're going to do is copy where it says ultimate fist dot use. You don't need the rest of that, that can just go. What you do is copy it, press enter, under whichever group you want it, press back, space bar all the way to the end, well, all the way to there, line, and then just paste it in. That's pretty much it. That Now that admin has got permission to do that. Like I said, if it goes red, so if it goes uh, red like that, you've done it wrong, go all the way back, space bar. So it's all online. If it's not online, it's out like that or like that. Something like that, you know. I mean, it just won't work. So make sure it's all online. So now we have actually got it all uh, set up. It's how you use permissions. Pretty simple, really. Just that people tend to mess it up. Um, essentials. Uh, go back to that again. So we need the commands for that. <clears throat> As you can see, commands permissions are here. And they got them all there. You know, so allows you to do stuff. Uh, with this permissions, if you do this, just do it. If you do that, that gives that group, well, the admin group, permission to all commands, regardless of with the permissions in it. So you don't really need that. But I just put them in extra, you know, like the new ones, because I think that's only for essentials, I can't remember. But there, it just gives access to all essential commands. So any other new plugins you've got to install, you got to do it all again. So now we set it up. Right, to add users to the group, what you want to do is just highlight that and just rename it to your Minecraft name. Or whoever, and then change the group to admin. Right, so you want to add more friends to the group admin, you don't know how to. Very simple, highlight it, copy it, space it all the way down, and then just paste it in like that. And then just rename that to whatever. So we'll call it user2, and then it can be default, group default. So there we go, it's pretty simple. Do the same again for user 3. Oh, wait, messed that up a little bit there. Yep, that's right. And then we'll call this user 3. And then he can be in default again. So that's how you sell permissions, basically. You can do that as many groups as you want. So admin. Call this one mod. Moderator. Mod and yeah, blah blah blah. Mod. So, what you want to do is when you type it in the group name and you just think, right, be lazy, don't put capitals like that, it won't work. 
you need to have the capitals. If he doesn't have a capital there, then you don't need the capital. But if he does have a capital, you need the capital, or it just won't work. Pretty simple. So as you can see, I added myself to the group admin. Let's give it a test, see but I've actually got Uber admin in front of my name. So just minimize that. Go to server. Start server up. Go Minecraft and wait. Minecraft. Oops. Minecraft just taking its sweet, sweet time. Okay, log in. Mm hmm. Multiplayer. Okay, now you can see it's creating entry. Oops. Sorry about that. So if you remember, I made myself admin. As you can see, Uber admin in front, and then Zaps two K eight. So I'm admin, and I get access to all essential commands. So as you're seeing, commands I get access to them all because I'm the admin, and I I can't break spawn though. If you're wondering why that is, and you're thinking, oh, why can't I break spawn? Why can't I break? It's because um, by default the server has a 15 block radius spawn protect. And that's without any plugin, so you just go add yourself to the Oblis trailer and you can just break spawn. Other than that, you can do that. But now, if I change my group to close all but this, so now if I add myself to the other group, so I myself back to default and default can't build, and I'll be called a uh, new reload. Very load complete. So now, look, I am not permitted to build. So I can no longer build. And every time I type a word, it comes up new and then the name. So that's pretty much how to install permissions. It's really not that hard, it's pretty simple. I mean, at first, your head will be confuzzled by it, but after that, it should just be easy. Um, but that's how you really honestly do it. It's pretty simple, it's not too confusing. Uh, as I said, all links will be in the description. Uh, the colours that you can get, I'll put that in the description as well. And uh, what letter it, what letter and number it is, and and sign. Uh, suffix, I just leave alone. Inheritance, we've gone over that. Build, we've done that. Permissions, we've done that. And we've told you how to add people to users and groups and stuff like that. And how to install plugins. So it's really, really easy. You know, there's nothing to it. It's not insanely impossible to do. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial so thank you for watching uh, if, if it helped you a lot rate comment subscribe if you have any problems um, don't send me like your permissions you know like just copy and paste it all in a YouTube message because it all goes to one side and it doesn't really work that well uh, just message me what it is what your error is what keeps happening a known error is that I don't know a fix to is your prefixes and suffixes they don't work sometimes. Like you put it in and it just doesn't work. So I can't really help that one. I don't know how to fix it. So if you get that one, um, I'm trying to cover over every issue that you're gonna get here. As I said, if it goes red or you've got like multi color everywhere, so you know you've decided to be lazy and use tab and it goes red like that, and you're just gonna leave it. That won't work. Make sure that is all gone and it's used space bar. That's pretty much it. Save it. Uh, In-game commands for permissions, I don't know. I just use, I just type in and just reload, like slash reload. That's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching. If it helps you, then you know, rate, comment. Um, if you've got any problems, just feel free to message me or just leave a comment. And hopefully, I'll get you'll get a response to it. That's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you for watching.